Good evening, I'm meteorologist Karen Williams and we had plenty of plenty of clouds around in the area. There were scattered showers and if you notice the temperatures were definitely a bit warmer today than what they were yesterday. As you can see it was 14 degrees warmer in Bastrop and Monroe, 10 degrees warmer for Vicksburg, 9 degrees warmer for Greenwood and 5 degrees warmer in Clarksdale. Now with that warmer temperature and the high, the warmer temperatures and the clouds and the showers, you can expect we're going to have more showers for your Monday. I'll have your complete forecast coming up in about 10 minutes or so as the Delta News at 10 weekend edition starts now. News that works for you. This is the Delta News at 10. Well, Anjanita, we had showers today and you notice it wasn't as cold as it was the last couple of days. That's because our dew points are up in the mid 50s and even if you go down to the south, they're in the 60s. So when you have those dew points, you know what that means. We we'll start to see more showers to develop. I'll have your full forecast coming up after the break. Taking a look at your weather headlines, we had cloudy with showers today pretty much all over the area. And as we get into our overnight, those temperatures are not going to be cool. They're going to be moving up. So again, if it felt like it was in the 40s last night, it's not going to feel that way tonight. If anything, while you're sleeping, those temperatures are going to increase. And then for your Monday, we're looking at showers and a few rumbles of thunder will be likely on your Monday. Now here's why. We're looking at the satellite and radar and you can see already there's going to be a dense fog advisory in effect tomorrow morning. But also notice that you see some showers and thunderstorms beginning to develop out to our west, northwest here, and areas such as Tunica and Clarksdale are already having a heavy band to move through. This is what we're going to be seeing throughout our area. So again, if you hear rumbles or thunder, don't be alarmed because that's part of a bigger system that's moving in our direction. This is a very dynamic system because this one will give us the heavy rain and showers. But as you can see, we're in the warm sector of this particular storm. Areas up to our north, extreme north, they're seeing some snow. So we're not going to we're not going to have that. If anything, we're going to have the warmer temperatures. But behind that front later on, those temperatures are going to be coming down toward the middle of the week. So again, this is going to be the weather roller coaster that we're going to be experiencing. Now, looking at that out the door forecast, for your Monday, we'll have rainy conditions, 65 degrees, and then by noon, one or two of you will be experiencing some thunder, 70 degrees, yes, 70 degrees in January, and then by 5 p.m., 64 degrees with some rain and thunderstorms. Low temperatures tonight, again, there it will be in the mid-50s to our north, 60s to our south with Yazoo City and Lake Providence at 60 degrees, 58 for Kosciuszko, 57 for Carrollton. High temperatures tomorrow, pretty much in the 70s. Yes, I said 70s. 73 for Carrollton and Grenada and Chula, 71 for Indianola, 69 for McGee. And that's because we're in that warm sector. And as we put our future tracker into motion, you can see we're having waves upon waves coming through. By Monday afternoon, notice that sharp line. That's your front moving through. And what will happen at that point, by Tuesday, winds will shift out of the north. We'll get one or two showers again as that line kind of backtracks into the area. But again, we will have to deal with the warmer temperatures. And again, this is our future tracker showing the same thing. Our temperature trend for the week, again, this is at normal 71, 64. And then by the midweek, we should be at 54 degrees. We'll be at that level on Friday. But for the most part, we're going to be the seesaw effect. Now, looking at that 
at that Storm Prediction Center outlook. We are in the marginal area, so again, we could see some garden variety thunderstorms there, but one or two could pop up. Rain chances throughout the week. We start to be drying out on Thursday and Friday. Looking ahead at your forecast, we'll have temperatures rising by morning and our lows reaching 63 degrees with showers and thunderstorms likely. Then for Monday, showers and thunderstorms will be breezy with those gusts out of the south southwest, 71 degrees for your high. And then looking at that seven day forecast again, we will have showers for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We start to dry out Thursday and Friday, but notice those temperatures will be in the upper 40s to low 50s. And then we have another system that will be moving in by next weekend.